Libra, Sun, Moon, and Rising, and Venus. Welcome to your love return readings for November 2018. Okay, guys. So, um, thank you guys for liking and subscribing to my channel. I really, really appreciate it. Um, it really means a lot to me. I'm sorry about the background. Um, I'm still traveling for work, so as much as you want life to be what you want it to be it doesn't always work out that way so you have to be the best person you can be that's all you can do you can only control yourself that's what i always say so anyway i try to do that I try to be the best person i could be all right guys so if this does not resonate with you or you want some more detail what's going on with your own personal situation because obviously these are generals and i'm appealing to lots and lots and lots and lots of people um it's going to give you the general basis of what's going on but it's not really going to give you an understanding of what's going to go with your personal situation because believe me we all have free will so anyway go to my website jennifer for a personal reading or check out the link below so i've already done a lot of reshuffling and i feel like this is good so we can get started okay let's do this let's do this libra okay tell me what's going on with libra's general romantic love life for november 2018 libra sun moon rising venus sun thank you spirit okay you got the nave of pentacles all right so knaves are pages they're an immature energy they are a uh uh, they are messengers of something tangible and solid. They also can represent new paths. So this is the knave of pentacles. And pentacles are solid. They're, they're, they're tangible. They're earthly. You know? So there could be an earth sign coming into your, pur into your purview that may be younger than you. That may be a little bit immature. Or it could be messages of something solid, tangible coming to you, okay? Or it could be you giving some kind of solid message to someone else because I'm looking out here and it looks like this person's going towards this way. So it's possible. Tell me about what's going on with Libra, someone in rising and Venus signs, uh, exes, situation, romantic situation for November 2008 tell me what's going on okay obviously they wanted to come right out all right so we got the nine of pentacles okay so the nine of pentacles what does that represent it represents having your finances completely in order all right it's it's reaping the uh aspects of all your work and this also is an earthly thing so it's an earth kind of situation is tangible um and it's also known as the single card however in this card and i'm sorry if i'm looking this way but i'm trying to make sure that this card is in the camera uh there's a butterfly and also i have to look and see what's going on with this card while i'm talking to you there's a butterfly and the butterfly is a transformational symbol right it goes from uh, you know a caterpillar and it, it molts into a cocoon and then it, it goes into a butterfly it's a transformational process your ex is going through some kind of transformational process that is making them more solid as a person okay that's what's going on with your ex's situation at the moment um, what's Spirit's advice. What is your advice, Spirit, Guardian Angels and Ancestors? What is your advice for Libra, Sun, Moon, and Rising, and Venus signs for if they want to get back with their ex? What's your advice, Spirit? Tell me what you think they should do. Seven of Wands. <laughs> this card cracks me up. Anyway, this is a Wands card, but this person's holding a sword. All right. And they obviously went to battle, and they're still ready to go to battle. So what i think this card is saying to you for your advice is if you want this fight for it <laughs> okay and 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 uh with the person on the ground take names no just kidding just kidding, I'm kidding. <laughs> slay them 
too funny. And she slayed the drummer, too. The drummer is on the ground. Anyway. What is, uh, how does Libra, Sun, Moon, and Rising, and Venus signs X feel about them for November 2018? Thank you. Oh, wow. This is a good card. And it's, it's, it's a nice card. It's a, it's a gentle, the colors in this card is really nice. So two, what do you choose? Choose represent choice. Uh, there's a choice here. Uh, but they also, in the feelings category, they see you as someone they could have children with, that they love, that they see as a soulmate connection. Definitely someone that, you know, you can have children with. Obviously, with the the baby hanging on to a naked boob there and the child hanging on to the lady. I mean, this could be, you know, it's male or female. It's, it's general neutral, gender neutral pronunciation of the words, right? Uh, yeah, so, and it's such a beautiful card. Just look at the lighting of it, the, the colors of it. And Tarot, you, you also need to look at the, 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 the colors. The colors are so soothing. I see you as a nurturing person. A motherly figure maybe not necessarily you could, you could be a male and you could be motherly you know you could be nurturing yeah they definitely see you in a positive light for sure we're not going to go to town on this card but what's the blockage to the reconciliation please but definitely a difference between that slaying thing that you have to do and that motherly thing <laughs> anyway um what is the blockage to the reconciliation for Libra, someone arising? What's the blockage for the, them returning with their ex? What is keeping them from getting back with their ex, please? Show me the card I need to see. Show me the card I need to see. Show me the card I need to see. Stability. Hmm. Okay, four of wands. So what's keeping you from being with your ex? Stability. Uh, fours are always stability. So, uh, and, and you see that there's this tree here. Sorry, it's not in the focus. There's this tree here, and there's these three birds hanging out on this solid tree, right? So your blockage is the four of wands. Normally in the right away deck, you would see somebody celebrating. Uh, it could and be reference to like an engagement. I don't feel like it's more marriage because I feel like that's more the higher fence. Um, but definitely more of an engagement kind of card, a stability card, a stable relationship. So they, there's a blockage because there needs to be some kind of stability here in this relationship, okay? Okay, so what, how does the X feel about a reconciliation with Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising? Okay, there's too many cards, here. How does the X feel about a reconciliation with Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising? And Venus, thank you. Okay, so they have the five, five of chalices. Fives always represent change in numerology. And in this card, it speaks to me of a sacrifice. You see that the fox there has that bird. And it seems like there has to be a sacrifice in order to get that stable home in the background. You know what your own situation is, of course, so. so. They feel like they have to make some kind of sacrifice to have a reconciliation with you. Um, okay. So, let's get some clarity cards on this. Okay, Libra. Libra, represented by Venus, of course. Air sign. Okay, Libra, Libra, Libra. All right, why do we have the Knave of Pentacles here, please? Why is the Knave of Pentacles here? So far, I mean, just looking at your reading so far, the cards are very light. The colors are nice. Uh, there's a beautiful tree there. And I don't see it as a negative reading at all, seriously. Knave of Pentacles. Why do we have the Knave of Pentacles here? Oh, man. Leave of Pentacles because of the Two of Cups. Someone here is offering you something, or you are offering something to someone because of love, because of a soulmate connection. 
with the two of cups. Why is the seven of wands here? Which is weird. The emperor. That's what I thought. You need to you need to stand up and fight. You know, the emperor is a soldier, man. He's a, he's, he's a guy in charge. Oh my god, his head's cut off. Look at that. His head's cut off there. Sorry about that, emperor. Um, you see, he's like comfortable in his surroundings. He's in control of the situation. Relaxed. So stand up and fight for this if this is what you want. Why is the Nine of Pentacles here? The Nine of Pentacles here, they've, they've gone through a lot of transformation because they've had a lot of worry and anxiety in their life. Why is the two, and also it's a very sad card. It seems like this person's had a lot of sleepless nights and been rather sad about everything. Why is the two of chalices there? Maybe it's because they're single also. Why is the two of chalices here? Huh. They do want something sallow with you. And there's the earth sign again. Earth energy here. They do want something tangible. And you know that motherly kind of earthy energy. Slow moving though. Why is the four of... That's why it's a blockage. They want something sallow with you. Why is the four of wands here? The blockage please. Oh man. You guys have great cards today. The lovers. Oh my god. The lovers. Soulmate, twin flame connection. A choice. Wow. Wow. So. They definitely want something stable with you. Why is the five of chalices here? Okay, somebody has to take charge of the situation with the chariot. Be victorious. Move forward. Make the sacrifice already. I don't know what's going on with your ex. Okay. Um, now, let's find out if there's going to be a reconciliation. Libra, Libra, Libra. Libra, Libra, Libra. Libra, Libra, Libra. Okay. Libra, Summon, Arising, and Venus sign. Will there be a reconciliation with their ex? November 2018. With their romantic love life. Show me the card I need to see. Show me the card I need to see. Show me the card I need to see. Thank you. I hate this card. Anyway three of pentacles so you're working towards bringing teamwork threes are creative teamwork this is a maybe there's potential here there's stability i'm going to put another card on this though give me another card to understand what's going on with this three of pentacles please will there be a reconciliation spirit we for someone rising and venus sign with their ex please thank you okay so they're still in think mode with the hermit or you're in think mode with a hermit there's still some examination that's being done here with the hermit card so okay so the blockage is the four of wands so someone here doesn't feel like there's something stable enough there's an offer on the table looks like potentially but and it looks like your ex is probably single they feel like they have to sacrifice something now what is that sacrifice they have to make and spirit saying to you take control take control of the situation if you want this fight for it but still there's not complete stability here with the three of pentacles not complete teamwork because there's still so much examination going on so let's uh let's get a romance angel on this okay so it's saying you're going to have some kind of heart-to-heart -heart conversation. All right. That makes sense. And it says, or you're going to initiate it. Honestly discuss your feelings with each other. You deserve love. You are lovable. So there's going to be some light shed on this, apparently. Okay. 
Give me some more advice for Libra, Sun, Moon, and Rising. For the romantic love life. Thank you. Huh. So maybe that's also why the Emperor is there. Let go of control issues, Libra. Let the situation unfold naturally. Okay, so. Libra, or this could be vice versa. Um, I think maybe you're having control issues because you want this to be a stable situation. Yet your ex feels like they have to sacrifice something and are hesitant to move forward. They are still feeling like there is an unstable factor here with the Three of Pentacles, which is still teamwork. There needs to be a little bit more stability. So the blockage is the Four of Wands, which is a stable situation. They want a stable situation with you, you or the other person. So going forward, for at least for November, I mean, it, it's still very positive cards and, and your ex sees you in a very positive light. So that's very good. So if you guys can figure out and have heart to heart conversations about what you really want here, um, I believe that you can definitely move forward if that's what you really want. So, so you can definitely stand up and fight for the situation if that is what you want. Okay. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, please like subscribe. Thank you so much for the beautiful comments. And if this did not resonate with you whatsoever, you can get a personal reading with me at my website, jenniferwalkerzen.com or check out the link below. Thank you guys so much. Love you.